How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and we're looking to shake off our previous booster box opening as we dive into box number four of Collection Moon. Collection Moon has been rock solid for us so far. So I'm hoping to keep that going. Make sure to hit the like button to show your support for this ongoing series as we continue to pursue the master set of both Collection Sun and Collection Moon. And as well, make sure to leave a comment down below. As you watch the video, let me know what your favorite common or uncommon card is from Collection Moon. It could be a trainer card, it could be a new Pokemon, a new artwork for an older Pokemon, whatever it is that you like. If it's what you prefer, I would love to hear. Now let's get this show on the road. First pack gives us a Charger Bug, Wingull, Togedemaru, Dratini, and a Vicavolt as a Hollow. Nice to get out of the first pack with a Hollow. Again, we're going to keep things moving here, guys. Got ourselves a Palisand, Granbull, Drowsy, Pickapack, and a Poison Barb. Blue Leaf that's a throwing me off. So we've got Dragonair, Grubbin, uh, Carvana, uh, Trumbeak, and a Gigalith. Love the choice of the green in the background for this card. Whoa! Calm down there, Booster Pack. It's not that serious. You might have something good in you, but we're still going in order here. So now we've got a Boldor, Chinchow, Spiro, a Sandy Gast, and a Nest Ball. It just kind of hit me how many Ultra Rares and Hyper Rares are out of pull from each set. It's very challenging. A Crabominable, Rattata, Hypno, Eevee, and a Sheenotic Hollow. Just thinking about how each set has four Hyper Rares and three Ultra Rares. Like, seven cards that are rarer than the traditional full art in each set is kind of wild. That's why I bought 20 boxes. Like, I planned this off. Masquerade, Crabrawler, Fomantis, Pelipper. There we go. Team Skull Grunt, super rare full art. That is awesome. I know of one person in particular who's going to be very happy to be seeing this card. I, on the other hand, am trying to contain my laughter because of how ridiculous Team Skull is. But this is a really awesome looking card. Uh, definitely keeps the trend going of full art trainers from Collection Moon Booster Boxes. It's pretty interesting. Let's show it right there. Not an incredibly lustrous card, but it is pretty dark especially in comparison to your average full art trainer. But the attention to detail and the quality of the card is unmatched. Do such a nice job with it. Let's see if we can zoom in right there. 65 out of 61, super rare! 61. 65 out of 60. Looked like it was 61. Very nice. Let's take a moment to compare what you could pull from X and Y booster boxes, the first uh, 6 gen set, and what you can pull from Collection Sun and Collection Moon, and let's see which set doesn't hold a candle to the other. Sorry, but out of X collection and Y collection each set, you could only pull three full arts, so no ultra rares, there's nothing, nothing else super fancy in there. Gotta say, even though it's more expensive and more challenging to collect, it's an easy nod to give to this set. Poliwhirl, Cosmog, Corsola, Pikapek, and Big Malasada. Alrighty, Lantern, Rog and Rolla, Gruxish, Grimer, and Dragonite. Still not used to the new coloration for the Dragon type. I prefer it, I like it, I think it's cool. But it still seems like kind of in between for me. Like in between what dragon type used to look like and what electric type has always looked like. It's just peculiar, that's all.
All right, we've got Rainbow Energy, Snubble, Dratini, Wingo, and Lorantis GX. Couldn't pull it out of the first two boxes, and now we've gone two in a row. Just what I'd like to see. Of how the eyes light up. He looking at you. Very nice. Another good find right there. See, so yeah, a new collection moon would bring us right back on track. Only had that one box dip there. Poison Barb, Surskit, Grand Bowl, Spiro, and Cosmoem. And then we have a two cannon. Uh, Morello, Drowsy, Trumbeak, and Sharpedo. If you think about it, this, this is kind of interesting to think about. Out of eight boxes of Collection Sun and Collection Moon, uh, we've only pulled one Hyper Rare and one Ultra Rare. So I wonder what the overall pull rates are of Hyper Rares and Ultra Rares. I mean, we've got some time yet to figure that out as we go. But it's kind of interesting, because we've pulled one, two, three, four. What is, it, what is the other one that I have? Yep, we pulled, uh, we've pulled five super rares so far. There's our Polyrath. It's typical place at the end of the first half of the box. We're just at the bottom of the box. Uh, we've pulled one super rare Pokemon, four super rare trainers, uh, one hyper rare Pokemon and one ultra rare out of our eight boxes. Pretty unlikely scenario, but certainly I do not have a problem with it whatsoever, the way that it has gone. Yeah, truth be told, I'd rather get the full art trainers out of the way. They tend to be the more expensive ones. Besides, I still have that case that I have to open of each because uh, as I mentioned in my uh, my monster unboxing when the shipment came into my house uh, the other day uh, booster cases now have 12 boxes inside instead of the usual 20 so we still need to crack into those maybe I'll do like a, an extra special middle of the night opening to show like the opening of Ooh, there's another Dragonite. The opening of these booster cases. I'll post it at like, I don't know, when is box 5 of Collection Moon going to go up? 9 p.m. Eastern? Yeah, 9 p.m. Eastern. So maybe I'll do a video that goes up at like 3 a.m. or something foolish like that. And just show me like opening the cases. Because I'll need to open the cases ahead of time to retrieve the boxes. And what better way to do it than on camera? So we got Charger Bug, Toga Demaru, Pick a Pack, Grand Bowl, and Umbreon GX. All right, I can't get enough of that card. Need it, want it, can't have it. Oh, what's the man to do? Who's that? Is that Saint Motel? I don't know. It's a song that plays on BRU. I think it's Saint Motel. So we got a uh, Boldor, a Carvana. Wingull, Snubble, and Nestball. Yep, I listen to a radio station that's over an hour away, and if I drive north on the highway, it cuts out almost immediately. Because I like the music that they play. Poison Barb, uh, Morello, Eevee, Sir Skit, and a Hollow Orangaroo. Nice. Actually, been listening to the Lumineers a lot the last couple of days. Got some great new stuff out. Uh, Two Cannon, Poliwag, Fero, Hypno, and Masquerade. If you're interested in checking out music videos that have absolutely nothing to do with Pokemon, which is roughly all music videos, uh, you should check out the Lumineers. Um, trying to, to describe it properly as we get this Poliwrath, their anthology of videos in 2016. Uh, they are linked. They are, uh, well, they won't be linked in the description. I think you can find them easily enough. Uh, but the videos link to each other. They're connected in, like, a really cool way. 
Hope somebody out there checks it out and enjoys it. Uh, Rainbow Energy, Sandy Gast, a Trumbeak, Fomantis, and Dragonair. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I occasionally spend time on YouTube other than with Pokemon cards. Uh, Cosmoem, Spiro, Chinchow, Eevee, and an Alolan Muck. Nice. I think I've yet to pull two of that in a box. Sure, I'll have my chance. Uh, Crabominable, Bruxish, Cosmog, Grubbin, and Big Malasada. Still making me hungry as all get up, that Big Malasada. I shall conquer it one day. Got a Lily, a Rattata, Grimer, Corsola, and Sharpedo, number two. As we wind down with the remainder of box number four, I want to take an opportunity to thank you guys for your continued support. It means quite a great deal to me to see that so many people are still coming out watching booster box openings of mine. Even I don't love my booster box openings, but a lot of you guys seem to enjoy yourselves here, and I want to thank you for spending the time. And for checking out this Tauros GX as well. Very nice. Should close out our GXs for the box if memory serves me correctly. Oh, most definitely, because this is the last pack. And that last pack will give us an energy retrieval. Surskit, Firo, Morello, and a Lantern. But not to worry, we are right back on track with the pulls. Only had that brief hiccup in our collection Sun Booster box number four. But we are back doing what we know and love, and that is pulling great cards out of new Japanese booster boxes. How many times have we done it? Holographic pulls in this box were Vicavolt, Gigalith, Shinotic, Dragonite, Sharpedo, Polyrath, Dragonite, Orangaroo, Polyrath, Muck, and Sharpedo. GX's were Tauros GX, Lorantis GX, and Umbreon GX, and of course, this wonderful and sort of demented Team Skull Grunt Super Rare Full Art. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit the like button down below if you enjoyed the video. Drop a comment down below if you would like to share your favorite common or uncommon card from Collection Moon. Love to hear what you have to say. And make sure you subscribe because there are many more openings to come, many more great cards to pull, and I really hope to see you there.